guys. It's me, Julie of Crafty Julie Designs. It's Saturday, which means Comic Con Day in Nottingham. Woo -woo. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, yeah, we've got that little top floor too. Look, I've got my slime, my t shirt on ready. My daughter's getting ready as the Ghostbuster. My husband and my son are getting ready as well. I will take some footage, photo, plenty of photos, don't worry, I'll get plenty of photos and some footage and show you what's happened. So, yeah, it's Saturday. Let's get to it. As in, let's get to the Comic Con. Let's show you now. Bye.
Hi guys, it is Tuesday, <laughs> I had to think about it then, um, the weekend, Comic Con, oh my god, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. Next time Ecom have got one in Nottingham, if you're nearby, or even if you're not, go to it, it's brilliant. Definitely would recommend it, and I think we'd definitely be going again as a family. It was mine and Gavin's for, uh, second time for going to a Comic Con, we went to London Comic Con just before Covid hit, but it was our kids first time ever going to Comic Con and they really enjoyed it. Yeah, um, our son went as a character of a computer game. He didn't think anyone would recognise him, but four people asked him for his photo, so he was very happy. Emily, of course, the Ghostbuster. Yeah, a lot of people asked for photos with her. And we met the Ghostbusters of East Midlands. Woo so yeah, I'll uh, put all tags and that in the uh, description of this uh, YouTube vlog. So then if you want to find out where these people are, what the uh, what the business is where I looked at, you can find that. I'll put their links and that in the uh, description below for you so you can uh, check them out. Anyway, I thought I've had a few restful days because yeah, it knocked me out Saturday. I've told you what I'm like. <laughs> I can do so much, knocked me out. Probably didn't help that I did all that decorating before because I used a lot of energy up then and come Friday the day before we were supposed to go to Comic Con, uh, I nearly thought I had uh, done myself in, but a whole day's rest Friday. Made, helped me get back, to, bring myself back together, ready for Saturday. So yeah, Comic Con Saturday was amazing. Definitely worth a go. If you're a proper big geek, my family's big geeks, definitely into computer games, films, anime, all sorts. The art, there's loads of artists there. The, the artist stalls I was in awe of. Obviously I don't know because I'm a fellow crafter as well and, and um, that, but yeah. I, I talked to a lot of people that day and told them their work's gorgeous. I even I bought a few bits, but yeah, that's where I'm getting to. I'm heading to that bit now. Got a bag of goodies. Some I bought for me, some I bought for my daughter's birthday in July. She was uh, having to restrain her a little bit because she would have had all the earrings in the world. She's very big on earrings, but yeah, we get, we gave her a limit on the earrings because otherwise I think we would have uh, been bankrupt on Saturday. And uh, yeah, there was an amazing band, Lena and the Lions. My daughter's a big fan of them already. She saw them play in the HMV in Sheffield Meadow Hall and they played live while we were there. So that's them. You'll have seen them in my um, video I took of the event. I videoed the first song they played. Yep, I'm a new fan too. Definitely going to be following them and putting them on my Amazon playlist. So great. Reminds me of my uh, the 90s rock bands gar uh, garbage and things like that. It's very cool. So yeah, check them out definitely worth a check out so yeah let's get on and look at all this stuff i've bought anyway shall we so me going on let's change the angle so yeah got all those business cards all the amazing traders artists you name it they were there and i had to stop say hello unfortunately i had to resist could have bought something from every stall but like i said <laughs> i'd be completely bankrupt if i had us so I'll keep those cards because, yeah, future future purchases, that's what they're good for. Now, first of all, for our daughter, she's a big fan. If you know, you know. At the time, now, at the moment, I cannot remember the name of it, but how gorgeous is that felted little creature? And that's with Holly Heartfelt Needle Felting. So you can check her out. She does a lot of amazing things. So, yeah. That's one of Emily's birthday presents, so he'll be going away till July. And this lucky, lucky bag. I do love these sweet bags. I use these too. Uh, oh, this is the uh, earring store, one of, that my daughter was had to be given a limit. <laughs> First of all, she got those. How cute are they? Little sparkly earrings. That's so cute again, if you know, you know. I will have to tell, ask my daughter again, because I'm... I've always been geek and training ever since I married my husband 20, 19 years ago. But I do recognise that, but again, like I say, I'm no good with names. But yeah, she got those earrings. They're so cool. From Stoked Crafts, as you can see. There's her card, Stoked Crafts. And then there's her information if you want to find her. She's on Etsy too, with lots and lots and lots of gorgeous things. I have a feeling that I may be going back to her again at some point for my daughter for presents. Christmas is only a couple of months away, guys. That dreaded word, Christmas. Now, right, what's in this one? Oh, this one I bought for me. I had to buy these. Look at these. I've got, I'm terrible for cats, but these wooden pins are gorgeous. Pick up your grocers, peasant, and Izzo. 
<laughs> They're so cute. So yeah, these will be going on a collection. I'm going to start collecting pins. I've always had a thing for pins, but resisted. But I thought, well, oh, wait, I'm getting older. I'm going to start collecting. So this is their business card, the front. Gorgeous artistry. That will get stuck on the wall. So here's our illustrations. That's her. If you want to follow her, she's got lots and lots of gorgeous things. So, so I couldn't resist these because they were cats. So, yeah, that was a uh, purchase. <laughs> and this one, and this one, this is our son's big Zelda fan, like my husband. The leaf, I don't know if I'm holding that right way around from Zelda. Again, not the geek, so there is a proper name for this. I will find out. <laughs> and then. There's a couple of sellers left in here because I'm not doing our bags for it. First of all, we've got this pin badge. If I fits, I sit. Totally true. So there you go. There's the lady in question that did this. And Nana, Nona Gallery. I said that right. If I haven't, I'm sorry. She gave us these cute little stickers. So we've got them. And that one. How cute are they? And that badge, yeah. Had to have that. Another cat. And then this was another stall holder, Kate Mere White. So you had again, I couldn't resist. So I've got this pin badge, it's a tarot card style pin badge. The cat's on. And then I've got these two prints from her as well. One for my daughter's birthday. And that one, my daughter picked that one for her birthday. And I could just not resist Space Cat. How cute is that, eh? So I've got to find somewhere to put that up in the office because, yeah, that is super cute. So yeah, we got all that from that lady, and here's everything we got. I think that's actually quite a nice little haul, if I don't mind saying myself. The saying I was trying to be restrained, trying, <laughs> I can say trying. So yeah, there's my haul. Let's find somewhere to put them now. Eh? Here's all the business cards I collected. You see your name? Please come, say hi. By now, hopefully, I'll, by the time I've released this vlog, hopefully I've got through you all and come and said hi and following you. Because you all do amazing work. Those crafty people should stick together. So yeah, there's my haul of business cards. <laughs> hi everyone, welcome back. It's Thursday, the end of the week for my vlog again for another week. Um, it's been uh, not so much creative week but a fun week because you've seen all my footage from Comic Con we had a lot of fun and then since then I've had resting time and then I've uh, made sure I have put my pins up you see I made a pin display for my cat pins I bought at Comic Con plus the ones I already had so already and then I'll show you I put my print up pride of place in my office spray painted the frame gold so now she stands out and I cannot believe as well how much better this room looks now I've painted the woodwork that gorgeous lilac colour it's so much lighter in here now it's crazy so yeah that's my week done hope you've enjoyed it uh, next week I'm gonna get back into crafting might do some more uh, follow me work videos i want to make some alice in wonderland flowers because i never got around to the uh, wedding flowers i was hoping to do this week but then again i've done a lot already this week so yeah make them into flowers for a future wedding uh, item that will be able to be ordered from my wedding shop and uh, yeah i'll see you next week thanks again for watching see you soon bye